This video will cover beginner questions regarding the topic of higher order derivatives. Question 1. Using the power rule, x to the power of n prime equals n times x to the power of n minus 1, y prime equals 5x to the power of 4 plus 2 times 4x to the power of 3 plus 3 times 3x squared plus 4 times 2x plus 5 times 1. The derivative of the constant term is 0. Then you can rewrite as 5x to the power of 4 plus 8 times x cubed plus 9x squared plus 8x plus 5. Why second prime is 4 times 5 is 20x cubed plus 3 times 8 is 24x squared plus 2 times 9 is 18x plus 8. Y third prime is 3 times 20 is 60x squared plus 2 times 24 is 48x plus 1 times 18 is 18. Y fourth prime is 2 times 60 is 120x plus 48. Remember that from the fourth derivative and on, it is shown by a number between brackets. If no brackets are used, it is a composite function. Y fifth prime is 120. Y sixth prime is 0. Question 2, we can rewrite as y equals 2x plus 3 to the power of 1 over 2, y prime equals 1 over 2 times 2x plus 3 to the power of 1 over 2 minus 1 times 2x plus 3 prime equals 1 over 2 times 2x plus 3 to the power of minus 1 over 2 times 2, then cancelled, then 2x plus 3 to the power of minus 1 over 2. y second prime is minus 1 over 2 times 2x plus 3 to the power of minus 1 over 2 minus 1 times 2x plus 3 prime equals minus 1 over 2 times 2x plus 3 to the power of minus 3 over 2 times 2 equals cancelled the minus 2x plus 3 to the power of minus 3 over 2. Y third prime equals minus 3 over 2 can go down then 3 over 2 times 2x plus 3 to the power of minus 3 over 2 minus 1 times 2x plus 3 prime equals 3 over 2 times 2x plus 3 to the power of minus 5 over 2 times 2 equals cancelled 3 times 2x plus 3 to the power of minus 5 over 2. Question 3. We can rewrite as y equals 4 minus x to the power of minus 1. y prime equals minus 4 minus x to the power of minus 2 times 4 minus x prime using the chain rule. Then minus 4 minus x to the power of minus 2 times minus 1 equals 4 minus x to the power of minus 2. y second prime equals minus 2 times 4 minus x to the power of minus 3 times 4 minus x prime equals minus 2 times 4 minus x to the power of minus 3 times minus 1 then make positive 2 times 4 minus x to the power of minus 3 y third prime equals take minus 3 down minus 6 times 4 minus x to the power of minus 4 times 4 minus x prime 
equals minus 6 times 4 minus x to the power of minus 4 times minus 1 equals make positive 6 times 4 minus x to the power of minus 4 or you can rewrite as 6 over 4 minus x to the power of 4. Question 4. d dx of e to the power of x equals e to the power of x. Think of it as d dx of e to the power of u equals e to the power of u times u prime. Then y prime equals e to the power of ax times ax prime equals e to the power of ax times a equals a times e to the power of ax. Y second prime is a times e to the power of ax prime equals a times e to the power of ax times ax prime equals a times e to the power of ax times a equals a squared times e to the power of ax. Y third prime is a squared times e to the power of ax prime equals a squared times e to the power of ax times ax prime equals a squared times e to the power of ax times a then a cubed times e to the power of ax and go on y n prime equals y prime is a y second prime is a squared y third prime is a cubed, then y n prime is a to the power of n times e to the power of ax. This is the last one. Using the quotient rule, u over v prime equals u prime v minus u v prime over v squared. Then y prime equals sine of x prime times 1 plus cosine of x minus sine of x times 1 plus cosine of x prime over 1 plus cosine of x squared equals sine of x prime is cosine of x times 1 plus cosine of x minus sine of x times 1 prime is 0 then cosine of x prime is minus sine of x over 1 plus cosine of x squared equals expand cosine of x plus cosine squared of x make positive plus sine squared of x over 1 plus cosine of x squared equals cosine of x plus using the trigonometric identity this is 1 over 1 plus cosine of x squared equals cancelled 1 is left over 1 over 1 plus cosine of x then we can rewrite as 1 plus cosine of x to power of minus 1 y second prime is Using the chain rule, minus 1 plus cosine of x to the power of minus 2 times 1 plus cosine of x prime equals minus 1 plus cosine of x to the power of minus 2 times minus sine of x equals make positive sine of x times 1 plus cosine of x to the power of minus 2 or you can rewrite as sine of x over 1 plus cosine of x squared. I hope this video has been helpful. If you have any questions, leave them in a comment below. And I will address them in a future video. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe for more.